Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural edition of the Chain Movers podcast. Uh, I will be your host tonight, and along with my co-host, Mr. Reed Flash. Welcome, Reed. Thanks for being here. I don't know what to expect out of us, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do our best and see if we can entertain a few people tonight. Well, I bet we'll do that. <laughs> I hope so. So brief intro, um, reading myself, obviously big sports fans, um, like to uh, like to cover a lot of football, uh, basketball we'll get into, Reed, Reed's kind of the baseball guru, so we'll, uh, we'll touch a bit on that, and, uh, and we'll go from there, we'll see where it goes. So first and foremost, I think what we should do is uh, open up with a little NFL, and uh, I think we should start with the uh, Saints Packers. So, looking at this one, Reed, I mean, it was, uh, I think it was the shock maybe of the day. I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, you have to, you have to really, really wonder what Aaron Rodgers, what kind of drama did he create with this Jordan Love drafting contract negotiation? He's leaving. He's staying. What what's happening? I think we can safely say that the Green Bay Packers transition into this year has been anything but smooth. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. So when you have a guy who has been away from training camp, away from team practice, uh. Doesn't really surprise me too much. I mean, is it? I is it fair to say at this point that Aaron Rodgers has put himself on a pedestal above the rest of the guys on that team? I wouldn't go as far to say that, seeing as how I don't. Being baseball is my main sport, but I observe football at a distance. But just from what I see, I think he's been in the league long enough now where he probably gets away with it and nobody really cares, which is also a valid point. Right. If Tom Brady doesn't want to go to training camp, I don't think Tom Brady has to go to training camp. Right. I don't know if that's an equal comparison quite yet, but right. But I can I can see especially after last year's loss to Tampa Bay, I'm sure that wasn't if we I'm go sure, back, I'm sure, I think he took that a little bit harder. I think he took that hard enough to, to say, you know, you know what, I've deserved a, a longer than usual vacation. Right. If we go back to his presser, though, it was during the preseason. Aaron Rodgers says, guys don't come to Green Bay. They come to Green Bay to play with me, right? And they come here to win championships. He followed that up, to be fair. So, I mean, well, that may be true. Um... I mean, let, let's let's go back and look at his stats from from Sunday or yeah from yesterday. Uh, Fifteen of twenty-eight for a buck thirty-three and two picks. That is not typical Aaron Rodgers fashion. Um, he gets hooked. Jordan Love comes in, goes five of seven for sixty-eight, no tutties. So, I mean, bump in the road, or is Green Bay still going to win the NFC North? Uh, bump in the road. Bump in the road. Bump in the road for sure. If they're playing, New Orleans Saints are still a good football team. Their defense is really good, but their offense. Well, I think we were all surprised at how Jameis Winston performed yesterday. That, uh, that was, so that was kind of my next uh, segue there. Jameis, I mean, this has to be the most efficient five touchdown performance. Fourteen to twenty for a buck forty-eight. Didn't even throw for 150 yards. He throws for five touchdowns. Um, real deal? No, not real deal yet. No? I think Green Bay's defense is still a little a little too... What's the word I'm looking for? Not where they should be. Out Just of like sorts? Where they, should, they, where they can't seem to get. They can never seem to get where they need to go. Right. But that's just how it is, I guess. Right. And I mean, the argument, I think, has to come into into play of, I mean, the NFL as a whole, this game aside, <clears throat> you got starters sitting through the entire preseason. 
is that Green Bay's problem. I think uh, one of the first couple weeks of the season, it just depends whose younger players have put in the work. Who's put in the work to, well, because these, both these teams have lots of young players who need to prove themselves or else they're going to be looking for another job. So, yeah. I don't know. I think New Orleans just, they came to play yesterday. Green Bay didn't come to play. I, I, I think it's as simple as that. Yeah, I, I agree. <clears throat> and I mean, the Saints weren't even in the Superdome. I mean, they're playing in Jacksonville, obviously, due to the fact the hurricane tearing through there. Superdome, I don't know if it's underwater or not. Could be, but it obviously wasn't safe to play there. So, uh, impressive showing, I think. Um, if you're Green Bay, business as usual next week. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think there's much else they can do. Let's go to practice. I don't know if they they might not get their extra day off this week, though. Probably <laughs> not. Not after which is all, and... Which is, well, I don't think anybody expects an extra day off this week. So, yeah, I don't know. Who's the Green Bay? They're in division with Minnesota, Detroit, Chicago. Yeah. All very untrustworthy teams again this year. So well, the entire see. division went 0-4 this weekend, right? So. Yeah, so... Right now, I still put them as number one, and I'll go Minnesota two. Chicago three. Yeah, they can go either way, I think, with Detroit and Chicago. Really? I don't know. I like Detroit. I I, I like the Lions, Oof. that's why. I, I, have wow. a, I have a soft spot for them. And, yeah, I don't know. They're awful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Chicago, Chicago Chicago's the Yeah, Chicago's a little bit better. Wow, that's... okay, okay. I like Jared um, Goff, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Green Bay, I'm going to kind of hunt up on this because, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, this is his last year in Green Bay. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Are we going to see the transition to Jordan Love and how long of a leash does Aaron have? Are we talking week four? If he did, if he has four of these in a row, are we talking we're going to look at Jordan Love or are they going to ride the season with Aaron? I remember what Aaron's contract is like. I believe he's under contract yeah, until believe, next year. So believe, yeah. End of next year. Yeah. So no, I don't know. Unless the Packers end up going zero and four, zero and five, I don't see any changes really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't disagree with that. I think it'll be interesting to see um, if we if we if it, Jordan Love gets more of a look. Um, will he? Won't he? I don't know. Well, time will tell. Right. But, uh, I mean, Green Bay's rushing attack, which is virtually non-existent, I mean, to be expected when you're down by, you know, 30 points, you're probably not running the ball very much. And Kamara had a kind of quiet day, but he didn't need to be good. They uh, they got it done through the air. So, um, yeah, that's uh, – I'm with you on the uh, Jameis say. One game I don't think determines what that's going to look like. He – he had good games in Tampa too, right? So, uh, I I just don't think that's enough of a. This is your uh, this is the the week one shocker that happens every year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I would we, agree with that. Should so, we switch gears here? Yeah, I think so. While we're on the quarterback train, um, Bucks Cowboys Thursday Bucks, nighter. Cowboys, yeah. Thursday nighter. That was a, Possi possibly uh, the best game of the week. I wouldn't disagree well, not, with that. Not, it, yeah, it, it, it was, it's up there. There's, uh, there's a lot game. to touch on on this one. Um, I mean, let's start with the obvious, Dak Prescott. Um, uh, I'm not a Dak believer. Um, I don't know. Are you? I don't know why, but he's growing on me. After this, I don't know. It, I still think his contract is a little ridiculous, but that's just the way it is nowadays. Comeback yeah. player of the year? Possibly. I'm not too informed on what that list is, so I'll have to, we'll have to wait to talk about that. But, I mean, you'd have Saquon. But if Dak wants to be a great quarterback, these are the kind of games he's got to win. Yeah, for sure. So, Yeah, I agree. Um, 
Tiin mitä kärsi. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the other burning issue here, Zeke, um, I mean, 11 carries for 33 yards. This is a game where they were at no point did they have to abandon the run, but I mean, Tampa's defense is solid, but they paid this guy a boatload of money. Um, three yards per carry. I mean, that isn't getting it done. Did Dallas overpay Zeke? And if, and when will he start playing up to his contract? I don't know. The way of the running back in this league has changed so much that I don't know how to. I don't know how to compromise the running back situation. But fact of the matter is, he's still very young. 